I'm just wolfing me down some Chick-fil-A and I just paused to admire the zesty buffalo sauce. Someone had to spend time inventing that amazing sauce that people love so much that now people can enjoy anywhere from any Chick-fil-A location. You know why? Because it's a franchise. You know what's cool about a franchise? Is that someone invented the business and then you can own it. You don't even have to operate it and then it makes you money. Is that really true? Is a franchise a good idea or is it a horrible idea? One, one shot, now the future is yours, go! What's up? Today we're gonna go there. We're gonna talk about franchises. We're gonna talk about if they're actually worth it. We're gonna talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, because here's the truth. There are some franchises out there that are some dogs. Like, I don't know who you dated in high school, but then there's some hot chicks over there as well. Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. A franchise is a legal and commercial relationship between the owner of a brand or business model, the franchisor, and then an individual or entity, the franchisee, who operates the business using the franchisor's support and resources. So think about it like McDonald's, whoever owns that place, right? Like whoever owns the Mickey D's, that is the franchisor, and then people pay $2 million to open a franchise on some corner somewhere, and they're the franchisee. And in that business, guess who owns all the real estate? McDonald's. They're the largest real estate owner on the planet. Well, that's a conversation for another time. If you're a subscriber, you know that we like to talk about real estate. But today, we're actually talking about the game of franchise because if you buy a franchise like Shaq O'Neal and it ends up making you killer money, then you might take that money and roll it into the same franchise, but another location, another location. And then one day you wake up as Shaq O'Neal thinking, I have freaking 400 of these now. Forbes also says that some of the key features of a franchise is their brand recognition, like everyone's heard of McDonald's or Subway or Dunkin' Donuts, right? They also provide training, ongoing support, and access to established business systems. Basically, someone figured out how to model the entire business so that you can come in, and if you work the business, so that when you get paid, you can get paid like all the other business owners. So let's get into some of the nasty details, should we? How much work is it to actually run a franchise? Because literally just the other day, I went to go grab some pizzas. I noticed it was a franchise chain. I asked who the business owner was. It was the dude checking me out at the cashier. And I just thought, ooh, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Why would you ever want to own a business that's a system that someone else can run? That just makes no sense. So this is what often happens in the franchise world. It's a full-time commitment. Like, you wanna own a franchise? This business owns you. Franchise ownership often requires full-time dedication. Psst, I don't really believe in that. There's definitely absentee owner franchises. You got management skills, right? You have to effectively know how to manage employees and operations. There's compliance. You have to adhere to the franchisor's standards and guidelines. It's like, dude, when you run their business, you have to run it the way that they want their business run. Uh, you got monitoring performance. There's regularly accessing financials and operational metrics and getting teenagers to be where they're supposed to be. And then there's also the work-life balance issue. Can I actually run this business successfully and achieve my work-life balance? I would say in probably 80 or 90% of franchises, the answer is no, which means you have to have some higher standards. And the very first question that I ask myself is, does this franchise need to be run by me or can it be run by a different operator that I hire? And if that other operator is running it, will there be some leftover green and leaf for me to make some dough? Okay, Crone, I got you. That's the work time commitment, work life balance thing. But what about the money? Like what does a franchise cost to get up and going? Well, first of all, you got a franchise fee. This is the initial fee paid to the franchisor just for the right to operate under their brand. Then you have a build out cost. Like if this is a physical location, you have to either lease a building, buy a building, you have to build it out. So there's the expense for the location setup, the equipment, the decor, and then you have working capital. It's like, well, when I open my business and I start making money, I still have to have a buffer in my account to run and operate the business and pay for my employees. And the average franchise startup cost is around $150,000. This right here, this is $150,000. Most people that get into franchises don't have this kind of money, but they might have a little bit. And what they gotta do is they gotta get some, they gotta get some financing. The SBA from the government will do some of that for you. And there's a lot of other options because there are franchises out there that you can get started with fifteen to $30,000. And then yes, there's definitely some out there that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
But in general, the more they cost, the more they make. So really it's about finding a franchise that really fits your budget. Okay, Chris, so here is my $150,000. If I put this in, whether it's a portion of my money and I finance the rest, how much am I actually going to make? According to Franchise Business Review, the average annual pre-tax income of a franchise owner in America, $80,000. Only 7% of franchise owners earn more than $250,000 a year annually, and 51% earn less than $50,000. So now when you look at the spectrum, the average might be 80,000. Half of them are making less than 50,000, but you also have 7% that are making $250,000 a year. Guess which franchises I like to associate with? This one or that one? No, it's the one that makes more money. Sounds like the secret then is to find the right kind of franchise. What's trending hot right now? What's unique and different? What has extraordinarily high payouts? What is absentee owner status? Well, why should I invest in a franchise? Answers a lot of those questions. You see, building a business definitely can be scary. Success rates in just a traditional business, super, super low. However, in the world of franchise, new business owners enter with a much higher success rate, usually over 80%. And I want you to think why. It's because it's not like you're leaning into an idea here. Someone literally started the game, they systematized the game, and they're showing you step-by-step -step how to play the game. Behind a new franchise business is a proven system, support, and a paved road ahead. It's the best setup for people who want a business but might not know exactly where to start one or definitely don't want to start from scratch. A master franchise or a license can build a greater net worth than many other investment vehicles. The ROI can range as high as 2,000% or more. If you're not familiar, a master franchise is when you buy a territory and instead of just setting up a store, you sell all the stores in the area, you get a piece of all of those stores, and you're not even the franchise franchisor. This is a very, very, very cool game. And if you play it right, endless opportunities. If you want some help getting started, it's kind of a specialty of mine. You know why? Because I love scaling business. And every time I start a business from scratch, I now have the business know-how to take it off and make it go somewhere. But imagine starting a business that was meant to be duplicated and cloned, and you give one out to successful entrepreneurs that want to be big winners. This game is cool and I love playing it. And if you wanna know how I play it, click below. Also, if you wanna know some of the cool franchises that are really different, that are performing really, really well, definitely, definitely click below. Peekaboo! Why do celebrities invest in franchises? If you wanna meet several and see how much money they're dumping in and why, click right here.